I have imported the Elms Creek height map into Houdini. I've also imported the 3D models of the road to create this mask. I also brought the fields into the map. And from there, I've used different masking selectors to define where I want to have cliffs, decorative uh, bushes and grass and different weeds, foliage, whatever. Uh, and you can see here how I'm very quickly able to create a mask which gives more of a randomized look. I also have the same for where I want my forest to grow, such as um, spruce and pine trees. So the collection of masks are exported to a folder and I'm running a script I created through ChatGPT. And the script works like this. It will take this collection of masks and combine them. So there cannot be any overlapping pixels here, just like with weight maps for textures. And the last two here, field mask and road mask, will subtract from the result of these. So let's actually take these out and run the script and see what the result is. I'll bring this into Photoshop and uh, compress the range here. So you can see that all of these different masks are now combined. If I bring the road mask and the field mask back into the image folder, click and drag onto the script. And in Photoshop, it will update and we'll create these levels again and check. Now we can see that the roads and the fields have been cut out from the rest of the mask. In uh, GE, I can run this script, this foliage creator, and I designated specific um, bits or values from this mask to generate grass, um, forest needles, like I said before, uh, grass deco with bush and so on. So I'll just run the script. And here we go. This is what is generated based on the rules I've set up here and where I've placed them based on the mask from Houdini. So next up would be to generate trees. Um, you can generate trees from any bit. You can set up the, the bit here. So currently I'll create trees based on where I've put forest needles mask. So about this area, I guess. So we'll run the script. And here we go. You have now a forest. Now the broadleaf trees will be spawned where I have uh, made the selection for uh, the bushes and flowers and such. But I could have used any other bit here. I could have made a separate mask for only those. But let's run it. And here we go. I dare to say a gazillion tons of <laughs> percent is done of the map. Uh, the fields are masked out. You have trees, you have flowers, you have bushes, you have grass. And you are very much very far on the way to creating your map. And um, yeah, it really speeds up the process. At least for me, this is the way I'll be working going forward.